what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Last week, a viral video showed a Miami Beach police officer acting a damn fool, beating up, brutalizing a young black female spring breaker for no apparent reason other than she bumped into him while they both were running. Today, the local NAACP wants police chief Richard Clements and city manager Jimmy Morales to resign from their respective offices, according to the Miami New Times. The chapter's president, Reuben Roberts, said the NAACP had a positive relationship with former MBPD chief Dan Oates, who regularly met with the association and often resisted calls for other Miami Beach politicians to arrest more party goers. Reuben says he warned those politicians last summer that replacing Oates with Clements might be a bad call and could lead to more violent interactions between black visitors and law enforcement. According to Reuben Roberts, Clements has not yet met with the NAACP at all. Reuben went on to criticize Clements for ordering Miami police to don riot gear as black spring breakers began to arrive. You know why? Because there's no justification other than intimidation for them to be in riot gear and to have all of those guns. The Miami Day NAACP is also calling for Morales to step down because the city manager oversees police decisions. So everything has to go through the city manager first. So he's in on it. But also the mayor is in on it because any action the officers take or the police chief takes must first go through the manager, the city manager, and the mayor. So here's the deal, family. They're not wanted. See, this is why I stopped going to spring break in Galveston. Galveston, Texas, right up the street from Houston, 45 minutes south. Because I realized early on, they don't like us. They'll take our money, happily take the money, but then treat black people like shit. I've been to the spring breaks uh, and other gatherings with white folks and even you know Asian people and Hispanic people, and they don't, they don't ride those people the same way. When you come into this, their town, they're standing on horses and they're mean mugging. Or they're standing on the corner and they're not smiling because they want you to know they don't want you there. And they want you to get out of line. They want it to be some type of disturbance. Let me tell you something. First of all, their ass shouldn't have been there anyway, just off rip, just because of the coronavirus, everything that's going on with that. They shouldn't have been there first and foremost. But let's get past that. They were that. Because they are human beings, they should have been treated with a certain amount of respect no matter what. Because they are citizens of the United States, they should have been afforded the same liberties that people like to brag about that exist, the same equality, the same protection under the law. I mean, they should be afforded that, right? Just because they are Americans. But no, that's too much like right. So they go down there and the police is me mugging them, handling them. And even some of the stores that you go into, you're spending your money, even the hotels, they all got a little chip on their shoulder, but they're all taking the money. And the police is out there getting extra money because they they working overtime. So everybody getting paid but they treating black people like shit. Why even go? So this thug police officer who beat up the girl, who tackled her and they arrested this girl, for no reason, she definitely needs to sue. The Miami-Dade NAACP 
posted a flyer on their IG page. On that flyer is a list of demands and a six step call to action. But what got me was the title. We've had enough, big old bold letters. Like we've had enough it's gonna really scare somebody. Here are their demands and their six steps. Let's start with the demands. We are collectively demanding and calling for the resignation of Miami Beach's city manager, Jimmy Morales, the firing of Miami Beach's police chief, Richard M. Clements, the immediate establishment of a civilian oversight panel, the creation of new training programs, Ending the use of excessive force and police brutality. Here's their six-step call to action. Number one, share this flyer. Number two, tweet demands to the mayor of Miami Beach at Mayor Dan Gilbert. Number three, email Miami Beach Mayor Dan Gilbert at miamibeachfl.gov. Number four, call Mayor Gilbert. 305-673-7035 and tell him we've had enough. <laughs> Number five, join the Twitter storm at 1 p.m. Use hashtag enough, hashtag police brutality and at Miami underscore N-A-A-C-P. Number six, sign the petition on change.org. I'll put a link in the description. Family. I've heard people say, well, you know, it was dudes out there fighting. It was doing all kinds of stuff, you know. Uh, you know, don't get in the fights and don't break the law, and then you won't be treated that way. Here's the deal, family. Y'all know, like I know, anytime you have large crowds and you have people drinking, even in a small crowd, people are drinking, uh, sometimes people get out of hand, and sometimes fights break out. What the police do, they just make a civil arrest and they put you in the car and they book you or whatever. Sometimes they don't even make arrests. They just break the fight up and say, man, you go that way, you go that way. They don't have to brutalize people. But they do this to black people because these are racist hicks. They are race baiters. And they come onto the force to do that. That's why they join the force. They come there to fight. They come there to brutalize black people. They come there to kill black people. This is why a lot of them join the force. All we got to do is just look at the records. I ain't got to make this up. Just look at how they handle black people versus how they handle everybody else. And you got your answer. I don't have to make anything up. The NAACP failed to mention the number seven step call to action, which really should have been number one other than that action, action. You catch my drift? Boycott. Boycotting remains the most effective tool against racism. Stop giving people your money who don't appreciate it. Stop going places where you're unwelcomed. It's not going to go good for you. Think about it. Anytime you've ever went anywhere where you were unwelcome, even if it was a relative's house who you don't get along with, or a significant other who said, I don't want you anymore. Go to that person's house and you're only going to make yourself look like a fool. Stop going places you're unwelcome. As soon as those black spring breakers arrived in Miami and saw the disposition of law enforcement, saw all of that force, the riot gear, the angry faces of the police officers, they should have turned around, went straight to their hotels, checked out, hit the road, and never looked back. Stop going places, you're unwelcome. No more talk. What, what, what the haters talking about?